I want to talk about being set apart for God, sanctified and sealed. I want to talk about three men I haven't spoken of yet, but I'm going to start tonight. I want you to read in Daniel chapter 3 with me. Nebuchadnezzar, the king, made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits and the breadth thereof six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, sent to gather together the princes, the governors, and the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all of the, and all the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar, the king, had set up. Then the princes, the governors, and captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the province were gathered together under the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar, the king, had set up. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then an herald cried aloud, To you it is a commanded, O people, nations, and languages, that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sack, but psaltery, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king hath set up. And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. Therefore at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sack, but psaltery, and all kinds of music, all the people, the nations, and the languages, fell down, and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar, the king, had set up. I'm going to continue this on the next video. I want you guys to pay attention to what's going on here. And I'll talk about it after I'm done with that. God bless you guys. This is part one. I've read the first piece of this. I want to continue here. So we're going to go to verse 8. Wherefore, at that time, certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews. They spake and said to the king Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Thou, O king, hast made a decree that every man that he shall hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, that he should be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. There are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego? Do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the, worship the golden image which I have set up? Now if ye be ready at that time, at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, but, sack, but, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made? Well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Part 3 coming up. God bless you guys. Now I said it a minute ago, we're going to continue this. Mm, hallelujah. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should not Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was to be wont to be heated. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hose, and, and their hats, and their other garments. 
and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished, astonished, and rose up in haste, and spake, and said unto his counselors, Did we not, did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace, and spake, and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Ye servants of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth from of the midst of the fire. And the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors began get, being gathered together. Saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power, nor was a hair of their head singed, neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire passed on them. We'll continue this in the next video. Now, I want to conclude this reading first before I do another video where I'm going to talk and speak with you guys on this. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who hath sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him, and have changed the king's word, and yielded their bodies that they may, that they may might not serve, nor worship any god except their own god. <clears throat> Therefore I make a decree that every people, nation, and language would speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their houses shall be made a dunghill, because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Hmm. Something here I want to talk to you about. And it goes beyond the golden image. It goes beyond the deceit that was given to Nebuchadnezzar to create that golden image. It's about being sanctified and steadfast, knowing what it means to be set apart for God. Not bending, not bowing, not capitulating to this world and what this world has to offer. Like I said, this is a short video. The next one will be my closing one on this. God bless you guys. Love you. Now, I said in the last two, vi the last four videos that there is something important I want to get at. I spoke of it on the last video. But I want you guys to hear this. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not bend, did not bow, and they didn't burn because they knew they were set apart to not worship any other false god, false image, or even blindly obey that which is contrary to God's commandments. They honored God. They understood being set apart or sanctified and sealed for something higher and a glory unlike anything that has been seen or imagined. Now... Let's take these mighty men of Nebuchadnezzar's who, after the furnace was heated, were burned up immediately as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego fell into the furnace. Here's some rewards that I want to get at. One, they didn't allow Nebuchadnezzar to bully them into bowing to a, a false idol or an image. They stood true to their word and to their creator they stood true to god they didn't and now as nebuchadnezzar in his shock looked into the furnace there was four men in that fire walking around unharmed unsinged and here's the kicker they didn't even smell like they had fire on them when they came out of that furnace they were completely unharmed 
because of their obedience to God. When you understand being set apart goes beyond blind obedience to anything this that man gives you to be blindly obedient to. Never compromise obeying God over anything this world tells you to obey. If it is contrary to God, don't obey it. Just remember that. Be sanctified and sealed apart. God bless you guys. Love you.